And the junior from Jamesville, New York, gets it to Kadari Richmond, who spells Gerard at the first media timeout. Out front, Braswell. Chris, they say styles make fights. We're getting a look at the differential here early. Hey, he was hitless in all five threes, too. Good start for the Orange, especially from behind the line. Trap for Sims. Reroutes and scores with a right hand. You're going to have to hit some shots. You're going to have to beat it over the top at times. There's a knock away by Dawes. Recovered and back to Alamir for the layup. So is uh, Jonathan Bear, the big seven-footer, right around the foul line area. Here's Newman left open. Jay Hall's not played in the last two ball games after seeing six minutes of action in Atlanta against Georgia Tech. Gary A on a nice pass off the baseline, scores easily for the Orange. Early, I think the pressure, Wes, from Clemson, particularly on the ball, has bothered Syracuse. Gerard launches and hits. Especially with Edwards and Braswell already having two, Chris. Absolutely. Hemingway connects from behind the line. He's gotten Clemson to within one. Bayheim to answer and does. Rebounded by Tyson. It's more Packer than me. You've noticed that, right? Catch and shoot three. Hemingway. Another chance. Bayheim left open. Oh, and a front rim miss. A fourth try. Gerard finally converts it. Dawes got it. Trap probably a little frustrated. He had a huge ball game the first time they played this year. Three ball from Griffin. Gray's the iron and Griffin the rebound. Another catch and shoot. Here we go. In, folks, because it can be a show. Two threes popping the cork to start this second half. Alan Griffin. Honor left it on the front rim. I'd find zero here, Chris. Gerard all the way to the rack. And he can't buy one. Amir Sims has but a solitary field goal today. Griffin. Another one. <laughs> There's no doubt. He hits those shots. Now the problem is when he's still taking those and he's missing. Here's Tyson at the foul line. Griffin's got nine in the half. I'd be looking for zero in the white. There's the lob Ooh. and the dunk for Garrier. Trap. Tried to shove it inside to Tyson. Bayheim for Griffin, back for Buddy in the layup. Pretty play. The Orange have added six more as a squad, and Clemson is on the ropes here at the Dome. Hemingway trying to revive him and does, knocks down a three. It's got to be a two-way game here, right? You got to get stops, but you also got to hit shots now. That's that's the obvious one. Well, but stuff like that can't happen, right? Since executing against the zone, it, it seems almost insurmountable. Right. Way out front. Yeah, he's been less than 100% with a knee. Richmond also some soreness in his knee. On the drive, Bayheim and one. I just think it's a, he's got a great looking stroke. You can tell he's travel a long way with that. Oh, yeah. There's a three ball. Houston's hit three of their last three from behind the line. Six minutes gone, but it's a 12-point lead for the Orange. And Bayheim another drive and score. Tyson, a tough catch. Got it blocked by Dolezal, I believe. Griffin launching and hitting. Foul on Dolezal, by the way. First on the Orange in the second half. There's Sims going to work for just his second field goal. Garrier trying to get in on the fun. And Chase Hunter runs it down. He'll feed Sims, who'll dunk it down.
in the lane, and a dunk followed by Garrier. Garrier's a non-shooter. The problem is, if you lose sight of him, he's going to sneak in behind you like he just did there. And he's Syracuse's leading rebounder. Now they're trying to see if they can flip the script here, but a lot of ticks have already gone off this second half clock. Dawes rings the bell again. I need a little more evidence on that. Here's Newman missing from the corner. And Richmond in transition ahead and layup for Griffin. What happened? I've never met a coach who has intentionally left a guy who can help him on the bench. Here in the second half for the home team, Chris. He has in this Syracuse defense. But taking it at the end of the shot clock doesn't hurt you in your time and score what it is right now. Their opponent is looking at this saying maybe we should play more zone in that game. You know, it's... And it's crazy because Clemson was so good in terms of executing against his own in the first matchup. Sizable lead late the other night against Carolina. I know Jim Beheim doesn't want to do that here today. His team is led almost from the start. VM this year well, in the league. I mean, Coach Beheim would have been there. Obviously, Josh Pastner's in the running. Josh, Josh Pastner's not eligible. That's not a mask. <laughs> what? You think Pastor will be on my case about that, Spatola? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, have you heard his argument about the uh, number of teams that deserve to be in the tournament? Yes. Oh, and I definitely would have called a sweep of Syracuse from Pittsburgh. And they get an explosive second half from Alan Griffin, don't they? Wow. Gets a double-double, by the way, Chris. His second of the year, 22 points.